everyone, <coughs> this is Jighead TV and we are here in uh, Dibba Fujira today uh, fishing, trying some different uh, lures, soft baits, some uh, what do you call it, stick baits, poppers, lures, jigs, anything. So enjoying today, whole day here in uh, Dibba. It's a bit windy, but uh, the nice thing that the wind is <coughs> blowing towards the sea. So from the back, and it's an our, our advantage, we can cast further and let's see what we can do today, what we can catch today. Stay tuned. <coughs> so I'm using a uh, crazy fish tough now with a jig head and the idea here is to check out the, there is a small harbor here so I'm checking the what is happening closer to the bottom let's see if we can get some fish out not fish there no one caught anything they're just checking huh okay yeah Yeah. That's a nice size fish. That's a good size fish. No, flathead. Nice flathead, man. It's very nice size flathead. Crazy fish stuff is proving itself very good lure, very good soft bait, like a acts like a fish and it has slow fall because of the this additional uh, wings here so attracts the fish on the fall too. So a very nice soft bait to check for the active fish. The problem is here the wind. So I'm casting it against the wind, so it's giving a little bit of hard time on sensing it. But I put a bit heavier sinker, so I can sense it a bit more. couple of casts in all the directions and then we go ahead to the other side check the other side what we can catch there but constant movement is essential part of fishing anytime you have to move check and find the fish and you can see that there is some action in front of me here the bait fish jumps that means there is someone chasing it from the bottom so so let's see we can find that someone let it you know make it bite on our lure somehow what a bite yes 
can see a nice bite. It's a good sized fish. Fighting, trying to hide in the rocks. I think this is grouper. Yes, this is grouper. Ah, beautiful, beautiful, nice grouper. You see? And a crazy fish stuff works perfectly. Yeah, works perfectly on any type of fish. So we got flathead, we got grouper. Let's move again a little bit there on the corner. See what's what could wait for us in the corner. Basic strategy, cast, wait for it to fall down all the way to the bottom, once it hits the bottom I will start retrieving it, so hit the bottom, retrieve it, couple of retrieves, again retrieve it, couple of retrieves, so basically it hits the bottom, you retrieve it, it goes up and then you stop and it goes down, that's your basic strategy for soft bait. couple of retrieves, hit the bottom, yes, there is one more fish here. fish and that's that's a scorpion fish I think no that's a grouper different type of grouper that's a different type of grouper beautiful beautiful nice type And one more time, and then we go ahead and try some something else. The guys got some nice fish there. Let's go check what they got. Ashraf, John, John, see the reel. Oh, 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 oh. Not stopping, not stopping. Let us stop going to fish. You have too much line left. That's so big. So big, don't, don't catch it. Huge. No? It's running like a big one. Inshallah. It's a monster, Yanni. If it's a tribali, it's a monster tribali. You come here, let me go there. Get some. Wow, that's amazing! Big one! And soft bait, huh? Soft bait! Beautiful fish! Vegetable 
Hola a todos. So we had a nice breakfast and now we are here in the shallow areas, shallow reefs, trying to catch some different species and while it's the low tide. So let's see what's hidden in these areas. And we are trying to catch the fish in the shallow reefs. See what's going on here. Let's try to find some fish. Whatever we can find. <coughs> First cast. And it took my soft bait. <laughs> nice. And it took my soft bait. So let's change. Let's put the soft bait here. What are gonna we choose? Let's go choose. Something interesting. Okay, we have here orange color, echo grass, you know, medium size. And we'll try to put that one. Oops. To the water. Trying to put one. Look how it swims. It swims like a fish. Sure, there is some fish hiding behind these rocks also. Okay, anyway, let's try casting. Nicer. It's hiding in the rocks. Come on, go out. Yes, coming out. It's coming out. And again, how more? Beautiful. Like a grass minnow. Again, nice bite. <clears throat> we are not letting it drop all the way to the bottom. Just nicely playing somewhere in the mid so the fish can come out and bite it. Yeah, one more, one more, one more. 
one more. This is nice one. This is a nice one. This is a nice group. This is a nice one. This is a nice size group. That's a nice size group. Beautiful fish. Nice size, beautiful size. Working perfectly, orange color is a killer for this kind of group. to fall for that soft bit. So how many? I had a five casts and five fish maybe and this is a good size again. Very nice size grouper. That's the beautiful one. That's the beautiful one. Beautiful size. Look at this fish. Oh my god, this is amazing. Beautiful size. Grouper. Look at it. Look at it. It's amazing. It's nice fish. Go. Relax. Crazy fish stuff. Again, this is big damage dealer to any type of fish. Let's go. Cast again. Here you have to... Oh, yes! Yeah, look at the tough, crazy fish tough, coral trout, crazy, crazy bites, so it's just non-stop. What else is hidden here? Change our uh, soft bait to pintail tune, I'll try to catch some trumpet fish or uh, garfish maybe, or maybe some other fish, let's see what's in the area. Oh. The bite happened in front of me. You see, pintail tune. Very good for this kind of areas. It's a small but a bit heavy. It's like 6 gram. And it goes really nicely on the currents and winds, you know. be nice 
nice now to have a dip in the water just to refresh yourself it's a beautiful area small beach so we can go and swim here for a while Fishing, fishing. The plan is to finish this and go fish. And go kill. Go fish. Kill. We need to kill. We, we kill big one in the morning. We need to kill more. Now. Yalla, Ben Shark. Yalla, Ta'an. Yalla, Ben Shark. So we had lunch uh, in Afghani restaurant. Had nice, some nice Bukhari rice. And uh, now it's afternoon time. We're waiting here for a sunset session so we're gonna be doing some soft bait in micro right now and then we will see trying rules stick bait maybe if there is bigger fish to pass by because uh, higher tide expected and uh, sunset so hopefully we will catch something on the sunset today so let's try the prototype of briny bread slim didn't work at the end of the video so I'm uh, just uh, making the ending of the video right now and we had a lot of uh, nice bites on uh, especially on the soft dates a lot of groupers different types 
and we had uh, trumpet fish, you know, and other type of fish caught during the day. Some barracudas. There was a nice uh, jump and uh, bite on one of our uh, anglers, but unfortunately, it swallowed the whole lure and uh, cut the leader. That happens. So, but in general, the trip was really amazing. Sorry again for a bad uh, voice uh, because of the wind. It was a really bad wind. I mean, uh, it was in our favor. It was blowing from the backside, you know, from our, our backs. But uh, we didn't have a chance to, you know, like the video on the GoPro on the microphone itself on the GoPro is very sensitive to the wind so that's why in some places the wind is really bad and uh, not uh, giving a chance to <laughs> talk properly but anyway thank you very much uh, try to hit the shores of Dibba it's an amazing place to go and relax for the whole day with your family with your friends you can do some barbecues there and stuff so go ahead and uh, check out Dibba areas and thanks again for watching and uh, sorry for the bad uh, voice recording because of the wind. Thanks a lot.